Here is a very interesting question, question 12. A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon with sides of unit length. Write C, D in terms of A, B and B, C. That means this side in terms of A, B and B, C. Show that B, E is 2 times C, D. In part 3 is find the magnitude and direction of AB plus AC plus AD plus AE plus AF. Okay, so to do this, uh, let's start from first. Let me join all these points and see what do we get. So I'm joining BE, which we need to prove as twice CD, right? And then here we have AB, AC. So let me join all these points also just to show you what we're trying to do here right so so first I will do let me join AD and uh, okay so AE and AE is here okay so these are our kind of points right so let's try to figure out how to solve this problem now, first part, what is CD equals to? CD in terms of AB and BC, right? So let us say AB is X and BC is Y. Let me write like this now. So in that case, you'll find that if this is X, let me join these two points also. It's a regular hexagon and therefore from here if we see this side is x right so this side will be x for us and this side will be y for us correct and therefore we can say cd is equal to y minus x right so we can write cd equals to y minus x basically y is bc so you can write bc minus a b okay now we have to prove that b e is twice c d now for b e we can say this is x and this one is y because this is parallel to this this is y right y and y so let me call this point center as o so b o plus OE is BE, right? So let me write BE equals to BO plus OE, right? Now what is BO equals to? BO equals to Y minus X, right? Or if you want to say BC minus this, let me write Y minus X first, Y minus X. And what is now let's look from here this side is parallel to x so this is x and this one is y right so how much is oe o is also y minus x plus y minus x right so that means be is equals to two times y minus x correct and y minus x is cd. So we can write 2 times cd. So we have proved be is 2 times cd, right? And now let's do part c. Now part c is, let me rewrite this here, ab plus ac. So ab is ab. Let me write ab as ab plus ac. So a to c can be written as ab plus bc, correct? So we are writing AC as AB plus BC. Got it. AD. Now A to D is these two sides, which is parallel to BC. So we can write this as plus 2BC. Right? That is AD. And now AE. AE can be written as, we can write this as, combination from here right in that case it is 
2 times BC plus DE and DE is minus of AB, correct? So we'll write 2 times, that is plus 2 times BC minus of AB, right? since that goes in the opposite direction as compared to AB. And now what is AF? AF can be written as here you go like this A to F. So we want to go AF. So if you go like this it is BC and minus AB. Correct? So that is AF. So AB can be written as BC minus AB, right? So that is how we can write our sequences. Now let's solve this. So we got AB plus AB, that means 2AB. And here we have 2 minus AB. So ABs will cancel out. So we got 0 ABs, right? As far as BC is concerned, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that leads 6 BC, right? So that is all this sum is equals to 6 BC. So that is one way we can write it. 6 times BC. Other way we can write is BC and AD is related like AD is 2 times BC, right? So we can also write this answer as 3 times AD. So both are equivalent and both are the right solution for this question. I hope you understand. Thank you and all the best.